Talk to me, Alana. Before I punch these bags, I spray on some cream. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Wait, Alana, I got a question. Yeah? Am I the best smelling nigga you know? The best what? The best smelling nigga you know? Hell yeah, hell yeah. Appreciate Not it, Not even dog. the best, the number one. Appreciate it, dog. Appreciate it, dog. Appreciate it, dog. Yo, hey man, what's good? Y'all coming to try another first video today. But before we hop into today's video, hope y'all feeling good, looking good, smelling good. Hope y'all having a great day or a night, whenever the hell you watching this. But I hope y'all had some delicious to eat today. You feel me? Like, you know what's crazy? Right before I record, before I started recording this video, I went downstairs. And I was like, you know what? I'm hungry. I'm gonna go eat something. Then I go downstairs. Like, I'm, I don't, I don't got a taste for nothing no more. Then I come back upstairs, now I'm hungry again, or I feel hungry. I don't know what's wrong with me, gang. But uh, yeah, I just hope y'all get into everything that they do done. But hey, gang, I got something to tell y'all, right? So I got a fragrance on the way from Joma Shop, hence is why I'm waiting to, um, you know what I'm saying, do the collection video. I got a fragrance waiting. And you know what I'm saying? I get my box in my P.O. box, I check it. And then I get this box. The fuck? I said, hold on now. This, this, this ain't the shit I bought. I open it up. I'm like, maybe it's just like a, a the wrong box, my nigga. What is this? What is this, bro? And then I, my nigga, it don't even, it don't even smell that. You know what I did when I smelled this, bro? On everything I love, I caught my granddad. I said, when I come over to your house, you can keep this. On everything I love, I caught him and told him that. Because this ain't no way. I would have kept it if it was on bond number nine. Y'all know that, gang. But what the problem is, gang, when somebody typed in the address to ship this fragrance, they put my P.O. box, but they name is still on the receipt and everything. The nigga name is Josh Brown. Literally. But hey, gang, I feel bad for him because he probably thinking like, where the hell is my cologne? Nigga, it's, it's a young nigga recording you holding their fragrance, bro. But uh, yeah, putting that BS to the side, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Before I punch these bad, I spray on some Creed, you feel me? And hey, we got that brand Creed out here, you feel me? But specifically, we it's focusing on the most popular one. So hey, without further ado, I know y'all ready. I know I'm ready. Let's get straight into the damn video. Let's go. All right, everybody know they got their own favorite out the brand, and there's only one way to pick, you know what I'm saying, what's the real truth on what's the best. Any, mini money, mo. Any, mini money, mo. Yes, that solves it. But now, to me, the best creed is original forever. But like I said, we're going to be reviewing the most popular one, which is Aventus. Now, when you first walk in the store, you know what I'm saying, you see all these creeds laid up. Like, I remember when I first walked into the, um, I still got the clip on my YouTube. Um, when I was in, I think I was in Mexico, I walked in, that was my first time seeing all them Creed's. I didn't know what none of them Creed's was, gang. But the only thing I knew was a vintage, my nigga. That's how popular this shit is. All them other Creed's, I guarantee y'all, casuals and NPCs don't know what the hell they are. They only know what a vintage is. But as y'all see right here, it says Creed 1760. Now, does that mean they hinting that this is an old men's fragrance? We'll get into that. But yeah, just the name Cree. I just love the name Cree. Like, like imagine when you start living with your girl, right? And she looking at your collection. Like, let me know which one sound better. Hey, babe, let me hold my own. Um, give me my Lamal. Hey, babe, let me get that. Um, let me get that Dior or or this one. Hey, babe, let me get that Cree. You know what I'm saying? Cree just it just sounds better. I love the name. But hey, the name don't mean shh. You know what I'm saying? The scent don't back it up. So hey, let's go and get straight into the scent. Now that I had a little, you know what I'm saying, tester strip back in um freshman year of high school. I had a little tester strip on, um, you know what I'm saying? Like, I think they call it a 10 ml. Like, it was like this big, but it's skinny as hell. But I say I got like three weeks wear out of it, wearing it every day. And the opening, like, you, it, it, it's similar to Savage to me in that fresh, spicy. Like, it's just, it's fresh, it's spicy, but it has that old school type smell to it, you feel me? But it's not too outdated. Like, you can definitely tell, like, it's just, it's retro, but it's not like, it's not too back in the days, like too, too, like where it had tumbleweeds, you know what I'm saying? Like it's not all that old, but this definitely is not like the newest sent out. You can just tell. But I love this part, gang. Like it gives you like a, it gives you a different type of vibe than all the new fragrances now, you feel me? Like in my collection, Aventus, like it's the, um, like it's, it's one of the coolest signatures to rock, you feel me? Like it just gives me a different feeling than any of my other fragrances in my collection, gang. Like this one almost gives me like a, like Creed, whenever I spray on some Creed, like I just get like a rich vibe, like a rich, like money, 
money getting vibe. That's why I love Creed too. When I spray my other fragrances, I'll be feeling like, you know what I'm saying? On the man, when I walk through, you feel me like everybody can smell me. I smell sweet, I smell masculine, I smell like Creed. I just feel like I smell like money. You know how I be saying I smell like money in Baccarat? Creed is just Creed, there's no, it's, it's combined. It's just money is in the Creed DNA. I just don't know. I get that vibe to it. It's like, it's like, nigga, you, you spray this on, you better go chase that bag. Like, that's what this feel like, gang. It just give me that motivation feeling, you feel me? And that's one thing I do want to tell you guys too, gang. Like, you, you guys see how I am reacting to this scent, like this scent, you know what I'm saying? Makes me feel like money. Like, I need you guys to find your own signature, gang. Like I said in my last video, bro, stop going for these trends, gang. Even though Aventus is a trend, like, I love it, gang. Find you a trend that you love, not just something you see everybody getting, you feel me? But yeah, gang, like, I'm not gonna lie to y'all and tell y'all I'm smelling all these notes. All I'm smelling, it's just like a fresh, spicy, I'm kind of smelling like a little citrusy, and then I'm kind of getting a little bit woody. I don't think woody is in here, but I kind of get like, I'm getting something like a little dry note in here. Like, it's like, a, it's, it's dry. And like I said, it has like a retro masculine vibe to it, you feel me? I just smell that money, man. I smell that money, money, money. But yeah, man, I'm just getting that like that bright, you know what I'm saying, fresh, spicy mood, you feel me? Like, to be honest, Creed Adventures, this is a fragrance I will wear like on a hot day. On a hot day, you know what I'm saying? I already know I might be sweating as soon as I go out. Cause y'all know how it be so hot when you, as soon as you step outside, you feel that sweat hitting your back. This is one of those fragrances where I feel like, you know what I'm saying? This would be good for those one of those days where I'm sweating and it's still hot, you feel me? And I'm gonna be walking around, you know what I'm saying? I feel like this is a good heat weather fragrance. But many people might not agree because of the performance. So let's talk about it. Now everybody knows about the goddamn re OG reformulation of Creed and the performance. And I said it one time, motherfucker. I'ma say it again. The OG reformulation was in 2018. What do y'all think Tropstar was doing in 2018, bro? Jerking off while he plays that fucking game. Tropstar was trying to get a win on Fortnite. Tropstar was trying to get a girlfriend while he was ugly as fuck. You feel me? Tropstar didn't even, he didn't even own a cologne. I was using Axe. I was in sixth grade in 2018, bro. And y'all talking about some, get the OG reformulation, get the OG. I can't go back in time and get the motherfucker, bro. Can y'all, y'all be making such a big deal about the OG reform? Okay, that's back in the past, bro. That's back in the past. Can we start talking about it, gang? Oh, it was so good. It was so, okay. Sell it to me then. Like, I don't know. I just hate when these fragrance creators talk about it like it's coming back. Like, game is dead. Okay, stop telling me about how good something was. You feel me? Whatever it is, whatever is in this bottle, bro, we stuck with it. We just stuck with it. Now, as you guys know, I said I had a little, you know what I'm saying, a little bottle, you know what I'm saying, for three weeks in freshman year. And from using this, you know what I'm saying, little bottle for about two to three times, I can say the performance is not trash. It's not great. It's just mid. And to me, I get about five, five hours. About five good solid hours, and that's solid. That's solid. That's not terrible. Cause I got trust me, I got some fragrances that last thirty minutes. <clears throat> Lamar EDT. <clears throat> I got some fragrances that last five minutes. I got some fragrances. Well, I think that's the only one. I don't buy no weak shit for real. Yeah, I think that's it. But Creed definitely comes in like you know what I'm saying the mid tier. You feel me? And it's not nothing too much to complain about, gang. Like if I want something that's versatile and fresh and fresh spice, I got some that can last like that. That's Dior Sauvage. But then again, Dior Sauvage don't give me that rich feeling, gang. You feel me? So I'm perfectly fine with the you know what I'm saying the performance not being so good. You feel me? Like I said, it's other fragrances in my collection that I can't use for hot days, versatile for days I want to be versatile. You feel me? And if you got Creed and you hate the performance so much, get other fragrances to replace it on certain days. If you just want it to last longer, in my opinion, dude, I'm kind of getting, I'm really getting Dear Sauvage in here. From that fresh spicy, I'm really smelling that. I only think, only other thing I get in the Dear Sauvage was that lavender that you don't get in here and the citruses. But in Dear Sauvage, it's pretty much similar. You'll probably smell more masculine too. But yeah, again, this smell just made me want to get some money. I need to put on my chain. Hold on, let me, let me put on my chain on y'all boys. You feel me? Like, I just feel like, I just feel like getting on some money right now, gang. Never mind, I don't feel like putting this bitch on this shit too cold. But yeah, I got a question for y'all. What fragrance makes y'all feel like this? Like, what fragrance makes y'all feel like money when y'all spray it on? Or when y'all have smelting in the mall or somewhere? Let me know. But for me, Creed Aventus do it for me, gang. But let's move on to my final thoughts. Creed Aventus, a great, great fragrance, you feel me? I don't know how to mention I think they charge a 200. Every time I log in the Joma shop, it's the first thing that pop up. Is this worth $200? To be honest with y'all gang, no. I'ma buy that shit though. I'ma buy it just because of the feeling it give me. I'ma buy that shit though, one day. But buying something with this amount of performance for $200, I'll buy that after I get all the stuff I want, gang. After I get all the stuff I want, this is just like an add-on. You don't need this. You don't need creative vintage. You don't need it. If it's just a want and you got the money, you feel me, and you attracted to it like how I am attracted to it, 
And of course, get it, gang. You know what I'm saying? Spend your hard earned money on it if you really love it. But for me, the way my life's set up right now, the way my ads is hitting, it ain't hitting like that, G. No. I ain't just gonna blow $200 on the Ferguson that last five hours again. I just can't do it. But um, the smell is the reason I will be spending $200 on them in the future. In the future. But yeah, if you do spend the $200, just know you buying the smell because not much else come with me. No performance, no beast mode performance. That's it. it all comes with it with the smell. So you better love it. But gang, I get creative ventures like a I get creative ventures like a 10. For me, it's a 10, gang. I love creative ventures. I know some of y'all might be like, oh, this is casual, it's everybody has it. It's, I, mean, I don't care, I love it. I love Creative Ventures. This fragrance is a solid 10 out of 10 for me, gang. I will for sure buy it. Would I recommend it though? Like I just said, no. But unless you love the smell DNA and you got the money to burn, write a check, wipe your ass with it, give it to them. But this is a 10 out of 10 fragrance for me, gang. If y'all have smell creative ventures, let me know in the comment section down below. And if y'all own it right now, let me know y'all current experiences and like what occasions y'all wear it for and what feeling do y'all get when y'all wear it. I wanna know. I wanna know I'm not the only person that feel like money when I wear Creed. I wanna know. But um, yeah guys, I'm gonna catch you guys in the next video. Hope you guys enjoy the rest of y'all day. And uh, do something nice for somebody. Give your mama a kiss. Tell her you love her. I can give my mama a kiss cause she going to sleep for work right now. But yeah. Do something nice for somebody. Peace.